morning, muchachos. Happy Monday. It is currently 11.33. Yes, you are. And Alondra and Mama Mari are making her famous biscuits. Are you helping Mama Mari, Gorda? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Are you, you got flour on the table or flour on your hands? I can't tell. <laughs> it's not on my hand, no, not on And on the table. So what are you doing right now with the biscuit? We're just putting. You're just putting the holes in it? Okay. Oh, why? Why? I honestly don't know. But why? here's the biscuits here. Oh my gosh, and Mama Mari makes the best biscuits. Everyone loves her biscuits. The recipe for her biscuits, she has memorized, and she found it in a magazine, so I'll get it from her, and I'll put it in the description box below for you guys, because I'm telling you guys, these biscuits are like legit magic. They are so good. Like, everybody. Yeah, she, Alondra likes it when we put Nutella in the middle, and we are out of Nutella, so I might have to run to the store and get some Nutella. I don't know. But we have um, cream cheese. You can always put cream cheese in the middle. No. You like cream cheese. No. No? Okay, nobody. Yeah, okay, we'll see. I might have to I might have to run to the store then because we don't have any Nutella. I am not a Nutella fan, but Iram is and Alondra is, Mama Mari is, so we might have to go and get some then before the biscuits are done. But oh my god, baby, I think that's a lot of holes. <laughs> we don't have a hole puncher. Not a hole puncher. What is it called? <laughs> One of those circle punchers, not a hole puncher. So um we are recycling or upcycling. And we are using this old tomato can. And um, my mother-in-law is a genius. And she just washed it. And she's like, yeah, look. And it makes the perfect size biscuit. And it does. So if you never have one of those hole thingies, just, just use one of these. Oh, you got to put holes in it, my mother-in-law said. That way, like, air goes through it. But, yeah, she's a genius. I know. But, yeah, these biscuits are seriously so good. Everybody requests them. Whenever she goes to somebody's house, they ask her to make it. Whenever someone comes to her house, they ask her to make it. And they're buttermilk biscuits. They're seriously the so best. Good. So I will get, yep, yeah, Holandra said, so good. I'll get the recipe from her and I'll like write it down and I'll put it in the description box. I should get the recipe in general just because Alondra's actually been asking for these biscuits. She keeps asking for them. So now that Mama Mari is here, we can finally make some and they're gonna be so good. But honestly, I haven't really been doing much today. I Well, I've been doing laundry. I've actually been putting my laundry away, you guys. Who is this person? Um, so I've been putting laundry away. I have clothes in the washer and the dryer and you guys my toe I don't know what I'm gonna do like my poor big toe like I guess I'm just not meant to have toes if you guys watched me how long has it been now a year a year and a half ago my big toenail got ripped off it was pretty disgusting oh, yeah Halandra said by my cousin yeah and my mother-in-law actually had to like rush me to urgent care they like shoved the nail back in and so it, it, it was gross but I finally have yeah, Alondra was crying because she was like disgusted and freaked out at the same time. But it wasn't that toe, it was this, my other toe. But I was sitting in my chair, my beautiful, lovely chair, which by the way, best purchase ever. I love this chair. If you check out it out, blah, blah, blah. If you have a Ross, check it out and see if your Ross has it because I bought that maybe like a month ago and it was only 60 bucks, which I feel like for an office chair is a pretty good price. But anyways, I'm getting distracted. I was filming my plan with me last night. I was sitting down and I had my foot somehow behind the wheel. I don't know exactly know how I was positioned, but I went to roll my chair back and it rolled over on top of my foot and yes, it hurt and it peeled all the skin off the toe. I feel like you can't really tell. Oh, you can kind of see some of the skin peeling up right here. Last night it looked a lot worse and disgusting, but today it actually doesn't look like anything. So I don't know, it was much worse last night and it was definitely painful. Also, I know I need a pedicure, I need to cut my toenails, so don't be looking at that and don't judge me, okay? Thanks. So anyways, today is definitely probably just gonna be like a low chill day. I was so excited, the past two days has been nice and cool slash, ah, not cold, it's been cool, it's been like in the 60s, and today the high is gonna be 80, and I'm like, why? No, I don't want 80 degree weather, I want the 60s, 50s, please, but, Anyways, Idam is currently at work. Um, he's supposed to get off at 1.30, but he doesn't know if he's gonna be staying later. It just depends. Uh, but tomorrow he is working like a full day, so like morning till night. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to check in, get the vlog started since I haven't, and I'll definitely check in with you guys and show you the biscuits once they're done. My poor baby is really wanting some Nutella, so you know what, we're gonna go to the store and go get her some. I just remembered that we are out of chips, so I am gonna grab these for Adon. These are his favorite. That way, I'm gonna look like the best wife ever. 
and of course these two and i found the nutella but they do have a kroger brand and honestly i am not about paying more money for a name when it's like the same thing so i'm gonna get the kroger brand comment down below because i'm curious do you guys buy name brand on everything or do you buy store brand like me personally store brand is fine like i feel like it tastes exactly the same so i don't know i'm curious comment down below what you guys do and we're done literally just walked in these doors and oh my gosh look at the biscuits Jammy, jammy. I just finished my breakfast and now it is biscuit time. So I like my biscuits with cream cheese and strawberry jelly. So good. Many hours later. Surprise, surprise, you guys. We are in Nebraska Furniture Home Mart. And of course now we're looking at grills even though we're not, or, oh, I'm sorry, a smoker. Ooh, let me correct myself, muchachos. But um, anyways, yeah, we just were figuring, let's get out of the house. Um, and his mom has never been inside a Nebraska Furniture Mart. We also have like an hour to kill. And so Edom was like, if I stay at home, I'm going to fall asleep. Uh, cause he's working a double tomorrow and we have to meet the painter guy tonight at six o'clock at the house. And he's like, he sat down and he's like, babe, if I don't get out of the house, I don't think I'm going to be able to like stay awake to be able to like meet the guy. I'll just be like too exhausted. So we figured let's get out of the house. Let's go do something. Plus. You know, Alondra and my mother-in-law have been in the house all day. By the way, Alondra didn't have school today. In case you guys are wondering, um, she didn't have school. So it's not like she skipped because my mother-in-law's in town. So anyways, we figured let's come here. This will be easy to kill an hour in Nebraska Furniture Mart and walk around. And then we're going to go to the house and get a quote from the painter. Hopefully it's good and it is cheaper like they say it's going to be. And then I also called a pet, one pest control company today. I forgot to call the other one but I called one pest control company today and I got a quote, which was actually a really good quote. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And then I'm gonna call the other guy and kind of like compare and, and see if, if one is better than the other. But anyways, for now, we're just gonna walk around because this place is ginormous. If you've never been to a Nebraska Furniture Mart, well, number one, look in your city, see if you have one because they seriously, they are so amazing. We're leaving Nebraska Furniture Mart and like I said, we were honestly just looking. We're going to our new home. I'm so excited. We actually yes that does mean home you're right we actually went yesterday to the house um and if you watch my play with me then you already know the new update so if you didn't watch it well i guess you'll just have to wait until we get there and i will show you but i was pretty excited because there was a new update since the last time i went and you went too because he just went like a week ago or not even a week ago huh by himself. it was just like, yeah by himself it was just like a couple of days ago and this update hasn't been done so i'm pretty excited about it actually two updates have been done so you will see obviously once we get there i will show you guys of course i don't think this is going to be like a super long trip at the house because like i said Edom does work a double tomorrow alondra has school tomorrow and it is 5 26 we're meeting that guy at six but um we think we're gonna go with home depot to install the garage opener i found out that they install that and it seemed like a pretty good price but to like know the actual like quote price they do ask a couple of questions like the height of the garage and like outlets and distance and all of that so since we're gonna go to the house we figured we might as well check that out and then also too i did bring my paint samples so that way i can compare it next to the trim and then also i don't know just to have it just to see um because you never know especially since we're meeting the paint guy but oh, I don't know why I'm so excited. I just am. I guess because it's like we're getting like more stuff done. And this is stuff that as soon as we close on the house, we want to get it done like instantly. So I don't know if like pest control can come the day that we close because it's going to be in a different city. And so I think it's going to be like, I don't know how far that city is actually from where we're moving to. Um, but we'll probably knowing us, probably just schedule it well on the 15th. Would that be the best thing to do? Like the next day? I don't know. The 14th of Wednesday? Uh, that's a Thursday so then Friday the 15th so we I don't know we haven't just like figured out when exactly because I don't know how long the closing is gonna be necessarily and I do know closing dates times that can change so we're not gonna schedule it just yet but definitely we want to try to schedule the pest to come right away that'll be the first thing and then try to get the painters in there a couple days later yes baby and then we've thought about our moving date which we kind of decided it yesterday but now we just have to like obviously have Edom get the days off but we're thinking we're gonna move the week of Thanksgiving so 
uh, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, obviously, well, I mean, I guess if we have to move on Thanksgiving, we'll move on Thanksgiving, but I'm definitely gonna be doing some Black Friday shopping that night, for sure, and on Friday. But um, yeah, so we're thinking of moving that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. My dad has already said that he will like come up with one of my brothers and help us move those three days and they'll leave like to go back Wednesday, you know, to obviously do Thanksgiving in San Antonio. So hopefully Dom can get some of those days off. Uh, well, he's already off on Wednesday, but Monday or Tuesday, I don't know, finagle something. But I'm pretty excited. Like, you know, as things start coming into place, we're getting like, things kind of like somewhat set in stone, somewhat figured out, and I don't know, it's just really exciting. Also too today, since today is Monday the 14th, it's 30 days till we close. Like 30 days, like, I mean, we already locked in like our interest rate, locked in our loan. I mean, we haven't even heard from them, so, which is good, obviously, because like, if, if they come talking to us, it's because they want something else or something bad, so I, I, I really don't need to hear from them. I don't want to hear from them, but I don't know. I'm just excited, and I'm, I'm excited to like get some stuff like figured out as well too like get things more finalized and be like okay this is for sure I honestly I'm like ready to buy but they they say do not buy anything um, until you close because obviously closing is technically not guaranteed and then also if they start to see a lot of charges on cards and stuff and your debt starts to increase you could potentially like lose the loan so we're not buying anything that's why honestly we're just like window shopping and looking that way as soon as we close boom we are going to the store and we are shopping <laughs> everything's getting charged all right we'll see you guys at the house i'll show you guys the updates and of course i'll give you guys an update as to on what the guy says about painting the house we're out the house and Adam is currently talking to the painter trying to oh i didn't want that to turn on uh seeing exactly what needs to be what and I found out that our closet is actually white, which is awesome. So all of the closets are white, so I don't wanna paint those. There's no point in changing them. Also too, I wanna get custom closets eventually, and mine, probably eventually in Alondra's too, but like, probably years later. But um, anyway, so that's good. I do not need to paint the closets, but he did tell me though that the wall or the ceiling is the cream color because they use the gun. So when they use the gun, they just make the wall and the ceiling the same color. So now I'm gonna have to get the ceiling painted white because I am not gonna want gray walls with a cream ceiling. Like that makes zero sense. But let me show you the update that I was talking about with the house. We got carpets. So the painter left and basically we would need to buy the paint, duh which we knew, the tape and like plastic. And the walls, I don't know if I said this or not. Yeah, you can hold it. The walls are not white or the ceilings are not white. So obviously if we paint the walls gray, we're gonna have to paint the ceilings white because that would look weird. It's not the same color. It's very similar. It's not, it's not I shouldn't say it's similar because it is a different color. Um, this is like a cream, it's our, it's this like is a gray, color. but they're both very light colors. But basically what he said is that just to do the walls of the whole house, the walls only, not the ceiling, $2,200, which seems like a lot of money, especially when we need to buy the, oh, and he's saying like we need to buy like, not just like the small, you know, gallon, I think it's a gallon size, like the actual like big old buckets, and those are about $400 for a bucket. So, and he's saying we need like five to six. So I'm kind of like, what? Like, I don't know, like I thought like 2,200, like the 2,000 range, I thought that was gonna be for, I don't know, going through like an actual painting, painting company. I figured because they were gonna do it on the side, it would be like in the thousands, not 2,000s. So, and obviously if he does a ceiling, that's gonna go up because it would be all of the ceilings would need to be done. So I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I knew painting was gonna be very expensive. I did know that, but I just, I guess I didn't realize. But I did realize, because I've, I've looked and like they say like in the 2000s and whatnot, I just assumed, because this guy and his brother is gonna do it on the side, that it would be a lot cheaper. Um, 
but I guess it's not. Anyways, we got the measurements for the garage that we needed and we saw that, you know, Home Depot does garage door installation and it's actually, I don't know, I thought it was a good price. Did you think it was a good price? For them to come in and install and it comes with like the garage opener we want. We also need like the kit extender thing. So, what that? Hi. Um, where's the light for here? Oh, here it is. Um, so anyways, I don't know. I felt like it was, felt like it was a, a good price. So I think we're probably going with that. Obviously, I'm sure we'll get more quotes and stuff, but I don't know. I was so excited about the whole painting thing and now I'm like feeling sad, but oh well. I guess it is what it is. Obviously, we need to talk and make some decisions. But the good thing is we have 30 days. It's not like we need to decide tomorrow or something. Um, but anyways, yeah, I think we're done here now. I forgot to end the vlog. I've been really bad about that now. I was doing so good ending the vlog on the same day and now I am slipping. But anyways, honestly, last night, I feel like Edam and I were just kind of like brain dead, like zombies, just trying to think about what we're gonna do with the painting. Um, because yeah, like, I don't know. We did decide that we are gonna call other painters, like companies just to see what they say because i don't know if you go through like a company if they provide the paint i don't know but we do want specific paint you know what i'm saying so i don't know we thought like this was gonna be like a brilliant idea you know and like if they do it on the side it would be so much cheaper but it's re it's really not i guess so i mean obviously if we call other companies and they tell us like three thousands or something like that then yeah then obviously the 2200 is a good deal um so i don't know and i do understand that painting is a lot of work like i look at the house and even though it's empty i'm like oh my god i would not want to paint this house it seems like so much work to do like because we want to do the bathrooms the bedrooms the hallways the kitchen the laundry room the only thing we would not be painting is the closets because all of the closets are white so that is a plus um but yeah so i don't know um uh, but last night we were like talking about it like should we should we like you know give it a go and paint it ourselves so we were kind of like thinking about that like I mean, it would be expensive. We would have to literally buy like everything and like the paint brushes and things like that. But technically, it would be cheaper because you're not paying for labor. Like we would be the labor. So we were talking about that. It's just that I am a perfectionist. I don't know if you guys know that. If you guys watch my plan with me videos, then you probably see it. But I have an issue with everything needing to be perfect. And I understand nothing is perfect. I totally get that. But I, like, I logically know nothing is perfect. I do. But when it comes to things, I can't, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if you guys, like, are like this too, but sometimes it's really bad like it can be really extreme and i can like fixate on something and it will literally drive me nuts and it's and i'll drive everyone around me nuts because i just like fixate on the one thing and i just can't get over it until it's fixed i feel like my perfectionism i don't know what the right word is but is like more heightened and like a little bit more over the top because we're buying a freaking house. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you are buying a house and it's not like this house is like 10 years old, five years old, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like older houses, I would expect there to be scuffs and things and whatever. But this is a brand new house, brand new items. I expect perfection, but I understand there's no such thing as perfect. But anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. So basically what I'm getting around is, is like, yes, the idea of painting, it honestly sounds like so daunting. Like it just feels like it would be so much work and overwhelming. And just like thinking about painting it myself feels overwhelming because it would be so much work. Yes, we would save money, but I'm just thinking about like the workload. It's like, oh my God, I don't know if I wanna do that. But also, even if we say, okay, fine, you know what? Let's save money, let's do it ourselves. I am such a perfectionist that like, I would probably be able to tell if one wall had two coats versus one coat because I am like so crazy with that. And if I saw something like that, it would bother me and I would bug Edom to like fix it and it would drive him nuts. And then that would be a fight. So, um, I don't know. Edom and I kind of agreed for like my sanity and his sanity. And so we don't like argue that we hire someone, but 
I don't know, at the same time too, what if you hire someone and then you still don't like what they did, I would assume, obviously, I, I would definitely ask, like, hey, if I don't like something, like, you're gonna fix that, right? If you've ever painted your house, like, hired people, if you don't mind sharing, can you comment down below the square footage of your house, if you know, and how much you paid, and you hired someone, you did the ceilings and the walls. I'm just curious what technically is a good number. If you guys think 2200 is a good number, comment that down below, too, but that does not include the ceilings, so. Anyways, but also we have to buy all the paint and the supplies. So anyways, comment down below, let me know, just because I am curious, we've never done this before, so I don't really know a good number. But anyways, I'm gonna go because I'm still rambling. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachos.